This morning, the FAA is investigating yet another close call. After authorities say the wing of a United Airlines flight clipped the tail of a Delta plane at Boston's Logan International Airport on Friday. Passenger video showing the United aircraft taxiing and slowly colliding with the tail of the parked Delta plane. I knew it was going to happen. It looked like it. Yeah, it hit the other plane. Rick Fredrickson and his 11-year-old son Daniel were on board the United flight bound for Newark when they saw the two planes inching closer. I felt a thump that didn't seem right like as, as soon as you felt it. It was a little shocking. Everyone didn't know what was going on and they were like, what happened, what happened? Emergency crews quickly arrived and the planes were towed back to their gates. The airlines say passengers were rebooked on new flights and there were no reported injuries. According to the FAA, the two aircraft had been in a holding area waiting to get on the runway. There's no one outside to direct you. It's up to the pilots to look around and see to make sure that their wing clearance is not going to hit anything. And sometimes that can be difficult. Friday's incident, just the latest in a string of close calls. Last week, a near miss in Minneapolis. After the FAA says an air traffic controller cleared a Delta flight to depart from runway 30 left. At Delta, cross 30 left. But then cleared an American Airlines plane to land on that same runway. American 2406, clear to land runway 30 left. Realizing the mistake, the controller ordered the American flight to go around. American 2406, I thought you were going on the right side, sir. You said left side. Sorry. American 2406, turn left heading 280. But the American plane ended up flying directly above the Delta aircraft that was sitting on the runway. Federal authorities say they're now investigating that incident, too. Again, Sam, so many incidents over the last few months here. What's being done to try and prevent these close calls from continuing to happen? So, Craig, the FAA back in March called for a nationwide safety summit and ended up earmarking some hundred million dollars to 12 airports across the country to try to cut down on these runway incursions. That includes right here at MIA, which received six million dollars. The agency says what they're doing is reconfiguring taxiways that might be confusing or adding lighting to airfields. The FAA also says they're on track this year to hire some 1,500 controllers. And so far since March, they've cut down on incursions by half. However, Craig, it's still one every three weeks, wow. give or take. All right. Sam Brock for us there. Sam, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.